Hi, I'm Jennifer Findley with the Kansas Hospital Association. I'd like to tell you about a new program available to hospitals in Kansas called the Rural Emergency Hospital. This program was created by Congress and we could start operating rural emergency hospitals in January of 2023. This hospital is a little different than the hospitals that we currently have in Kansas. The picture that I'm showing you kind of explains how a rural emergency hospital fits in the continuum of care. Like a clinic, it can provide primary care services and other outpatient services that people in a community might want to access. Like a hospital that we have today, it is open 24 hours, has an emergency room, and can help people when they have a crisis situation. What makes it a little different than the hospitals that we have in Kansas today is that there is a limit on how long a patient can stay in the facility. The federal rules that govern this type of hospital say that on average, a patient can only stay in the hospital for 24 hours. Now I wanna stress it's an average, so there is some flexibility in the system because we know some patients that come to the emergency room only need to be there for a couple of hours and other patients would need to be there much longer. We combine all the stays or visits to the hospital on an entire year, and then we look at what the annual average stay is. So for most of the communities in Kansas, there's going to be a lot of flexibility, essentially as a patient, if you need really lengthy stays, that is when you would have to leave a rural emergency hospital and go to another community. There are a lot of services that can be provided within a rural emergency hospital. The federal law tells us there are certain things that are absolutely required. Things like having an emergency room, and in addition to that emergency room, you must provide all the services that you need in order to provide emergency services. So things like having a lab, having radiology services, access to pharmaceuticals, those are all things that every rural emergency hospital will have to provide. In addition, there are a list of services that they say are optional or things that a community could choose to provide depending upon what best meets their needs. Those are things like outpatient surgeries, outpatient therapy, um, other kinds of urgent care and primary care clinics. Those are all still allowed within the rural emergency hospital model, but they're things that the community would decide they need and want to add to complement the services being provided. Many of our hospitals today provide what we call skilled care services, or you may have heard those called swing bed services. Those are still allowed as part of a rural emergency hospital, but the way that you organize and pay those services would be a little different than the way that most of our hospitals today are accessing those services. In addition to all of these services I've talked about, we know that there needs to be a good support structure to underlie the rural emergency hospital and telemedicine and transportation are two of those key services that we would encourage communities to consider and think about as they evaluate this model. As I mentioned, this is a new program that started in January of 2023. Across the United States in November of 2023, there were 18 approved rural emergency hospitals. Here in Kansas, at the same time, November of 2023, there was one hospital approved as a rural emergency hospital. Hospitals continue to look at and evaluate this model, and we will see it grow not only in Kansas, but across the country as the program continues to develop. If you're interested in more information about rural emergency hospitals, you can visit the KHA website at www.kha-net.org. When you get to our website, click on Critical Issues, Access to Care, rural issues, and you'll find an entire page with resources dedicated to the rural emergency hospital. If you still have questions after reviewing that information, feel free to reach out to me, Jennifer Finley. My contact information is here, and I'd be more than happy to visit with you.